Welcome back to Montana This Morning. I have Lieutenant Neil Lawrence with me this morning, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about how to keep yourself and your kids safe on this Halloween holiday. So first off, we'll start with the kids. What are some pieces of advice that you have just to keep your kiddos safe? I would say if your kids are 12 and under, make sure that they're with adult supervision or with a responsible adult or teenager who can take them out and uh, make sure that they are getting to the home safely and getting across the, the, the streets safely. And you mentioned that Halloween is a particularly dangerous holiday for kids. Sure, that's the one night out of the year that uh, kids are most likely to be hit or killed by a car. So obviously taking some extra steps to make sure that they're safe when they're out and about. And then as a motorist, is there anything that you can do to also increase this safety? Sure, I would say if you're driving through neighborhoods or wherever you're driving, make sure you're aware that there are kids that are gonna be out trick-or-treating, running around, probably you know, mistakenly crossing the street, uh, not at the cross rocks where they, excuse me, the cross walks where they should be crossing. Um, so just kind of being aware of the, the children that are out uh, trick or treating. Absolutely. And you spoke a little bit about how to make your child easier to see if just to help motorists out if they're dressed totally in black, it doesn't sure. do much good. Yeah, obviously uh, costumes that are reflective. Um, if you don't have a reflective costume, maybe putting some reflective tape on it, uh, giving your child a flashlight, a headlamp, or those chem lamps or chem lights that you can break that will illuminate. Uh, those certainly will help uh, people see your kids. And then uh, we talked a little bit about just knowing which neighborhoods you're going to, and this does all increase the fun, I think, for the kids mm -hmm. if you know that they are going somewhere safe with people you know. Sure, yeah, obviously going to neighborhoods that you know, uh, that you have where your friends live, uh, then you know those individuals and, and who's giving uh, your children candy. Um, when I was younger, obviously when we got home, uh, my parents always went through the candy to make sure that it wasn't uh, uh, torn open or disturbed in any way, and if it was, it was thrown away. So um, I would say yes, going to the neighborhoods, um, where they do have large gatherings where every year they have some, some event for kids um, is a, a safe place to go. And again, neighbors that you know and are familiar with would be safe places to go also. Also counting on your local police department, knowing who to call in the event of something that you wouldn't want to happen happening on Halloween night. Uh, do we just call 911? Yeah, the, obviously in an emergency situation, call 911. Uh, Non-emergency, you can call 657-8200. Um, but yes, definitely uh, a child gets hit or uh, something else happens that requires police response or a medical response right away, call 911. Okay, well it's good to know you're there. Thank you for joining us this yep, morning. Not a problem, and you're welcome. Happy Halloween to you and yours. You too. Thank and you. we will be right back after this.